Hey, how you doing? Thanks for joining me. In this video today, what we're going to take a look at is calculating conductor sizes for a single transformer based on the 2015 23rd edition of the Canadian Electrical Code. So when we're calculating conductor sizes for transformers, we need to keep in mind rule 26258, subrule 1, item A, 26258, subrule 1, item A, for single transformer primary side calculations and 26258 sub rule 2 item A for secondary side conductor calculations for single transformers. In the next video we'll take a look at what happens when we have a parallel primary side and in the subsequent video after that we'll take a look at what happens when we have parallels on the secondary side of a transformer as well. But like I said, for this video, we're just looking at the single conductor calculations or single transformer calculations uh, for single transformers. So let's get started. Uh, what we have here, I'm shown, I have a 100 kVA transformer, three phase transformer, 600 step down to 120 slash 208 is our secondary voltage, 60 Hertz. And we've got a 75 degree termination temperature on there. So we need to keep in mind rule 4006 when selecting uh, conductors from table 2. So we'll get started. Let's take a look at the primary side first. Okay, what the rule tells us that we need to be no smaller than 125 percent of the rated primary current. So first thing we need to find is what is that rated primary current. Okay, because it's a three-phase transformer we don't want to forget that crucial root 3 in our calculation. So let's go through and do that. We have 100,000 VA divided by our primary voltage of 600 volts times root 3 because it is a three-phase transformer. We punch those numbers in. What we find out is current on the primary rated at full load. We should be looking at 96.225 amps. That is my rated primary current. That is what the current on the primary will be when I'm operating my transformer at the full 100 kVA load capacity. Now, what it tells me in 262581A is that my conductor ampacity has to be at least 125% of this number. That means that we have to be at least 1.25 times greater than that rated primary. So, times 1.25 gives me my minimum ampacity of my conductor and we should see 120.28 amps. I know that I have to pick a conductor with, a, and with an ampacity of at least this number. So we're going to go to table 2 and because of 75 degree termination we're going to go in the 75 degree column. We're going to choose a number one gauge conductor with an ampacity of 130 amps. There's our primary conductors feeding the primary side of our transformer. Okay, so the next thing we're going to take a look at is calculating the secondary conductors of our single transformer. So 26258 sub rule 2 item A tells me exactly the same thing. We're going to take 125% of the rated secondary current and that's going to be our minimum ampacity that we take to table 2 and select our conductor based off that. So we'll do the calculation for our secondary. Okay. Again, VAN equals VA out, 100,000 VA divided by my secondary line voltage times root 3. I have 120, 208, 120 being my phase voltage, 208 being my line voltage, that's the number we're going to use, 208 volts times root 3, make sure we get that in brackets, I end up with I on the secondary current on the secondary rated current is around 277.57 amps. That again, that is how much current will flow on the secondary at rated load. Okay, and again it tells me 26258 sub rule 2 item A I need to have a conductor with an ampacity at least 125% of this number. So again, we'll go times 1.25 gives me a value of 346.97 amps. I go to table 2, again in the 75 degree column, 
I'm going to choose a conductor with at least that ampacity. We end up choosing a 500 kc mil with an ampacity of 380 amps. Okay, so we've calculated the primary conductor for the transformer, the secondary conductor for the transformer. Hopefully this helps. Like I said, next time what we'll do is take a look at calculating the conductors for the primary side of a transformer when we have multiple uh, transformers or parallel transformers coming off of one single feed. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.